Good evening, sports fans. Tiger time has arrived this weekend. The Savannah State Tigers opening the college football season down at Valdosta State, of course. The Tigers, well, they had their entire 2020 season wiped out due to the pandemic, but State was able to get two spring games in. The last time this team played a game, well, they were setting a new school record for most points scored in a win. Amy Zimmer has more from the Marsh. It's officially game week for Savannah State football. The Tigers getting in their final days of practice ahead of opening the season this Saturday at Valdosta State. It's like going to the baseball game at Wrigley Field and here and play ball. So uh, excited to have an opportunity to go play a really good team in a great atmosphere in front of a big crowd with a, you know, a really quality opponent. So our guys are excited. It feels like we've been in a time warp here for about two years. So to finally get back to normal is pretty exciting. How do you think opening up the season against Valdosta State will set the tone for this season? Uh, you know, obviously it's the first opportunity. Um, we play in a really, really quality team, as good a team as we've played since I've been here, and uh, be a big challenge for us. So I think it's helped us in our preparation because our guys know what we have ahead is a, is a big challenge. And, uh, you know, it's a good test right off the bat. So it's like playing the Alabamas or Clemsons of the world. They've been a perennial winner. So we want to be in that stratosphere at some point, and so to go play those guys will be a good test for us. Amy Zimmer, WJCL 22 News. Now we're getting you ready for the college football season with our countdown to kickoff special coming up Thursday night here on WJCL. We're previewing, of course, the huge Georgia versus Clemson game this weekend in Charlotte. We're also talking Georgia Southern, Savannah State, Georgia Tech, South Carolina. That's our countdown to kickoff special Thursday night at 730 only on WJCL.